a good 61, but he's not over the finishing line in this frame. And there is still enough on here for Ronnie to come back and win it and take the match, and that's a super snooker he's placed. What a snooker that is. Ken Mustard won. Or else it'll be replaced, I'm sure. Foul in the mid. Tony O'Sullivan set. Oh, the biggest penalty he can give away. And yes, it is certainly going back. Going back. And a penalty for just missing that red Ken uh, Doherty. He only just missed it as well. It wasn't easy. Oh, oh that's a little cruel. Well, that resigned smile from Ken Doherty tells you if the red had gone in, he would have taken this frame. But if it stayed out, there's a chance that he might lose it. That was a good escape on the second occasion. The red would have been a bonus, of course, but a big one it would have turned out to be. It would assuredly have given him a 5-4 scoreline and still a chance to make further progress. But, well, an easy starter for Ronnie, but a long way to go for him to take this frame and match. One. Can he screw off this pink into these reds? Looks pretty straight to me. Take the red into the same pocket. The outside one of those, uh, that trio of reds. Seven. Eight. A 61 break, getting out of that snooker and almost potting the red. It would have been a marvellous opportunity for him to take the frame. Uh, he's got to sit and sweat it out. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well thought out, trying to come off two cushions to split them up, but will one of them actually go into the right corner, I wonder? Have a look at this. He just tried to nudge them apart. Well, he thinks that one of them goes. Really not. Tony O'Sullivan, 28. It's not a bad safety shot, though, with the white tucked up on the black there. Although that red is possible, it's a very, very difficult shot. And Ken under quite a bit of pressure here. One more miss. And Ronnie, I think, will step back in again. And maybe take this, this frame and the match. I think Ken will have a go at this cut in the middle pocket. Eminently cuttable, that is. Oh, he's overdone it. 
Mm. Well, that's just pressure. He knew that was a big shot. So another opportunity for Ronnie to come back from behind and close this match down. Will he get another opportunity? I think he's hoping to get one more visit to the table, Ken. If this drops in, he may not. One. to get on the yellow so that you can screw back without going up the other end of the table and not a cushion to get onto the green. 11. Thirteen. And still thirteen behind. So he needs them all. Left-handed shot. Sixteen. Unbelievable, really. Twenty. Playing match ball, so to speak, the other way around, isn't it? Well, they're all there for the taking now. And it could be much over in just a moment. Just got to make sure he's got the right angle off the pink to finish on this vital final black. He's been behind all the way in this frame, yet he could take it and be in the semi-finals. Oh, he played that with a lot of side to bring it back. So this then for victory and a place in tomorrow's semi-finals. It's there. Oh, what a great comeback in that frame. Ken started off with a 61, but Ronnie fought and fought. Ken did have another opportunity. He wasn't able to take it. And so Ronnie O'Sullivan has beaten Ken Doherty here in the quarterfinals by six frames to three to put, let, take his place in those semis. We'll have more on the second semi-final. Jimmy White and Peter Ebden.